Hi, I'm Ryan White, the U.S. Rep for Century Composites in the United States. Uh, I'm here today to talk about the Century Stealth Rods. Uh, these guys were actually based on a, uh, on a carp rod coming out of the U.K. Um, they were a very parabolic rod, very good for uh, playing the fish, and also very good for having a uh, uh, throwing baits that are not aerodynamic. So it's a perfect rod for swimmers and darters. Um, you know, it'll also throw a spoon effortlessly. Um, the Stealth is still, even though it is parabolic, it is still a moderate fast action. It's to say that most of the bend comes out of the rod at uh, about a third. So to say that it bends at 90 degrees a third of the way down the rod or thereabouts. Um, this particular version, we have put the, uh, the American Tackle Microwave Guides on. Um, they do work very well. It's a very smooth cast and uh, a very long cast also. As opposed to the traditional uh, guide layout, these are meant to knock the oscillation out in the first guide and send it straight out through the rest of them. The lower setting guides also produce less torque on the rod. so. It doesn't want to put the rod in like an Indian arm burn kind of a kind of a, a bend. Uh, worst thing you can do for a carbon is try to twist it side to side with what you call a torsional load. So uh, a couple of really good points on the guides. Um, the rod also has, if you look down here, you can see the dra the taper gets much more drastic after the reel seat. This is a reinforced bottom end on the rod, so it, it really aids you when you're. Uh, fishing around rocks or if you are fishing in a sand spike with a short end on it you don't have to worry about damaging the bottom side of the rod even when you have an ergonomic design such as a split grip. Um, the rods are very thin in diameter um, as far as the stealth goes. They do have a thicker blank wall than a, uh, than a slingshot. The slingshot's real fast and crisp. These guys are much more, uh, much more parabolic. Um, very little effort for a very, very long cast. Um, another thing about these, they are an autoclave rod. Um, the, uh, the autoclave process is where not only do they wrap the, the carbon and the mandrel up in, a, uh, in a, uh, a cellophane plastic and bake it, they take it a step further where they wrap it up in a cellophane, uh, cellophane plastic put it in a vacuum bag which draws an actual vacuum on the composite and then they put it inside of an autoclave which is a pressurized kiln so you have vacuum and pressure at the same time all right so let's go take this uh, let's go take this century s1205 10 foot spinner with the microwave guides on it let's go take it for a cast all right here we are down at the surf with the uh, s1205 10 foot century uh, we've got an ocean lures on an ocean lure on here, and uh, I'm fishing the open beach down here, so I'm using some of the some of the larger spool spinning reels for a little bit better distance. Um, if I was fishing in uh, in a little more uh, in harsh circumstances, I'd be looking at fishing a, a von Stahl or a Z bass on one of these guys. Um, something along the line of a 150, 200 max on this guy. But uh, let's take a quick cast with this stealth and the, uh, the microwave guys here and see how we do. If you notice there's very little tumble in that cast uh, due to the more moderate action of this rod. Um, it also works uh, top water such as this ocean lure very, very well. So. Uh, you know, it, it walks the dog super nicely, and it's uh, it's it's uh, recovers fast enough, even with the moderate action, to even work to still get a, a, a real good uh, action, even when you're working it slower, more erratic movements. All right, don't forget, check us out www.advancedfishing-usa.com www.hattersjack.com